Hey everyone, so I thought it was a good time to have a little tutorial um, because I don't know what's happened through the years with YouTube and Facebook, but they really want you to hunt like Elmer Fudd after Bugs Bunny for the comments. So you see here, this is eight, right? So today, I mean, normally every morning, one of the first things I do after I pour myself coffee is I check notifications up here and I check um, I can go to my email account that's associated with this profile and there should be all of any social media responses well what I've been learning is it's not always the case because people will say how come you didn't answer me I was like, where so my daughter did show me a while back that under the regular um, YouTube videos, the longer one, this is a short, has to be under a minute, there's this, right? So this will be top comments, newest first. I don't know why there's not all comments. It's just so shady and sus. I just, I just don't get it. Who is, ooh, who is coding this stuff? Who is making these decisions? It is no good. So, um, my daughter came in tonight. She had been gone uh, on her, on her um, army duties. And she said, you didn't say anything about the comment I posted in response to Stephen Cemento's new wife. I, I'm sorry, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I'm assuming it's something like Cherie. Um, and so I said, I did not see it. So she showed me, I looked up here, right? See how it says eight comments? Well, if you look here, so there's the one for me just saying, please read the description and where to find it. Then Jason Fulmer, he came on and said, ask this to which I replied, right? So there's. That is one, two, three comments. Go down here and there's no more. So let's say we do newest first. There we have it. So we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so, um, so she posted this and my daughter answered the other day, but then she showed me on her phone another comment, her first comment. And so I just had her read it to me and I more or less wrote it verbatim. You know, I myself am trying to post this information as a body of work, as I've said, so that anyone searching for this group that red flags will pop up everywhere. Now, Miss Sherry, Sherry uh, Cemento, so um, she seems young. I don't know how long she's been around, but she said um, in response to this, she said um, she made a comment and then there's three replies. The first one is from my daughter and then she answered my daughter and then I posted so we still seem to be missing one don't we I don't know uh, anyway one two three four <laughs> four five six seven I'm still not I'm not seeing any we're not coming up with eight but anyway um, so she said so are you mad because your name isn't mentioned what good would come from that seriously do you need the clout do you need to be called names like punk coward and disgusting now I do not feel any animosity towards her um, I have when she first whenever anyone posts a comment anywhere if they have a profile, I look at it just to get an idea. 
Um, I've deleted people off of YouTube because I either found out information about them, they just seem like troublemakers. And so, um, do I say another punk move? Yeah, I didn't call him a punk. I called his move a punk move. I probably have called him a punk, though, because he is. He is a coward. All bullies are. And disgusting, yes. But if it's taken out of contest, I, uh, context, I don't just say it to say it. Um, there's always something around it. And my personality is such, I really try to be balanced. Now, of course, if you're in, you're never going to see me as balanced ever, 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 ever. Um, I hope I can just be in the same way a seed is planted and one waters and one tends to it and and one um, is there to pick the flower or pull the eggplant out of the ground, whatever. Not eggplant. I don't like eggplant. Let's pick a watermelon, pull, pull it off the vine. Um, then it's not going to happen. So I get it. And, and I do not, this does not bother me at all. Um, but, so I'm mad because my name isn't mentioned? No, that isn't it at all. And no one can find anywhere that that fits my personality. Um, unlike some people, now I have seen your Facebook page, so I know there's lots of, lots of, um, selfies, unless you've taken a bunch now, down since Keckle talked about it. Um, lots of self reels, uh, lots of talk of supporting generals, um, and that type of thing. So, um, so, uh, maybe you think everyone else is the same, but anyone who knows me knows I just... I'm not a picture-taking person. I don't want to draw attention to myself like, hey, look at me, look at me. Um, you need to say my name. No, it's, it's why. It's the context. And if you keep that in mind with whatever you read, if you have a question, you can ask. But to um, come at me like this when it's clearly driven from emotions, and I get it. I used to be close to the Keckles. I used to adore them. Um, they could do no wrong. And that was the blinders that were on. Until I began to see things like what Keckle has done to people to humiliate them. Uh, preachers and, and their families. Uh, that starts to change. And so if you don't know, you can go look at the FactNet video and, and see how he called out someone as an, having an illegitimate child. He knew nothing that this young lady was married. He took the word of, I don't know, was it, did God tell him? <laughs> he just assume it? So those are, those are things that every one of us that was posting our positive testimonies for the group when we saw the whirlwind come on, it really, it damaged us. It hurt. It really, really hurt. I did not voice it. Um, others were voiced it. Others came out and said, there's no way. This is someone in leadership in NTCC. And lo and behold, when he finally had to admit that it was it was his words, his writing, then, you know, the cover was blown. So I'm not poking. While upset that you aren't getting a reaction. No, I've gotten a lot of reaction too much because I have a life outside of this. And uh, I just, the list keeps getting longer of crazy things they say and do. So I'm not poking. Uh, they're poking. They're poking. I'm pointing it out. All I do is post what they say. Um, you can agree with my words or not, but they're they're pretty plain. Um, dealing with people like like yourself is a catch twenty two. There's no room to be civil. Nope, uh, that is incorrect. I've been quite civil, um, but I guess it depends on what your definition of 
of Sybil is. So um, I'll, I will just leave that there. Um, let's see. Then my daughter says, I'm not speaking for Tracy. I'm angry he used my dad's name. Keckle's using his name in what he said over 25 years ago to push his agenda. Go read what my dad had wrote. So go read his note to the Keckles when we left. Um, and this is all on my, on my blog, all of his writings, what we wrote to the Keckles, which we had to do because there were things going on in churches to church members. And this group of men did nothing about it. Like they always do nothing about it. Um, I was there when my dad was having, oh, I wish I could remember what that stands for. Myo something, something. It's like when you're having a heart attack, symptoms, and in the hospital, okay? So what happened was we were living in Virginia um, when my daughter and I were going over that event just a little bit ago. It It's weird because it all comes back to you, and you just cannot believe that people that claim to be Christians and leaders of others. Uh, Keckle calls himself a man of God, um, and they and they behave like that. So, and he is falling in the footsteps of of Tanya Keckle's dad, R. W. Davis, who started New Testament Christian Church. But anyway, we um, he was sitting in the van. And I don't remember where we were going. It was the evening. It was dark. Could have just been the fall. Um, and he actually fell out the door like he hadn't been in all the way and fell to the ground. And we had to bring him to the hospital. He did not want us to call for an ambulance. And I'm sure that had to do very likely with monies because we were blowing through savings we had when we got there. Because what was presented to us as what, as um, what, what was the situation there, uh, was not true at all. Um, the previous pastor had been lying. Really, it wasn't truthful at all. But anyway, we brought him to the hospital. I came outside with my phone and called Davis, thinking I would ask him to pray for him, pray for us. And so I had it on speakerphone so my daughters could hear and, and pray as well. And like she said here, then Davis said, tell Brian the... And he didn't know he was on the speakerphone. My mom thought me and my sister would like to join in prayer with the man of God. But I remember it like it happened 10 minutes ago. I hope one day, and she's speaking to you now, uh, Miss Cemento, I hope one day you really realize how these people are and don't waste as much time as we did. I don't know, your kids aren't older than Grant, so it seems God changed his mind on a bunch of things since then. I saw it myself, but I she says she worded this and that you would understand it. So it must be a young person thing, she said, but you be doing the most for someone who wakes up to the Bible every day. Maybe really dive into it and see for yourself. Um, you wrote back, it seems a bit one-sided that Pastor Keckle's name can be slung through a muddy opinion, but when he mentions a person in a good light, that's not acceptable. Whatever he does, y'all will find fault with. Furthermore, I know exactly who they are. They are kind, caring, and have helped me and others more times than I can count. There's nothing you can lie about that will change my view on who they are. Honestly, I hope you find peace one day. But it's hard to be at peace while negativity clouds the mind. It's a good thing we can't rely on memory over proof, and you are correct. I do be doing the most. You speak as if we have met, have we? Anywho, I don't mean any harm, but I do 100% back my leaders because I follow them as they follow Christ. I'm not sure what your point is in all of this or what my children have to do with this or what I wake up to every day, but I can assure you Pastor Keckle is not and will never be the man you are portraying him to be. He's portraying himself to be it. We're, not, we're just sharing what he's doing. By your girls, what, what struck my daughter was when she saw your profile as well, and she knew Stephen quite well. You can ask him about Rachel and Diana Pelfrey. And um, they used to be over at their house quite a bit, playing with the dog and everything. 
And um, I think what strikes her is if you stay in long enough, then they're going to start grooming your daughters like they did my daughters at 12 and 13 years old to, to start getting them in the mindset to marry a preacher very soon. Uh, we had a, a hope chest going. Um, we, that's what they thought they were going to do. There was not going to be any higher um, institute of learning or anything like that. So uh, I'm not sure where you think the lies are, but you can tell me. I mean, if if I think I've said something dishonest or or portrayed it wrong, I will admit it. I have no problem with that whatsoever. I absolutely don't claim to be 100% correct. It seems a bit one-sided, can be slung through a muddy opinion. Hmm. Uh, no, he slings and has slung many names, including ours, when we got out, um, right off, before we ever wrote a word online. Um, so it is good to find out history first. Um, you have a very limited scope of who they are and what they've told you, but um, the, the information is online. You can, you can absolutely find it. And um, no, it's not that whatever he does, we are, my mission, I'll say it again, is to, in, is to warn and expose, especially the military, uh, to not get involved with this group. Having been in the military myself and my daughter, we've known many through the years. We know people who have been invited out to church by them. And, and so the thing is, they want they want these servicemen's homes to get get these GIs in and get them to Bible school. They make them think they're called of God to come to some hokey pokey school that doesn't teach anything. It, it is nothing substantial. By a man, by a man and his wife, meaning the Keckles, who have never, you will never hear them be able to tell the stories all of us can about starting churches and all. And going out and being out there with no money, with little girls, um, how many people have had sickness and all kinds of things. Just awful things. And all for the sake of the gospel and doing it willingly. And so, um, sorry, I'm just trying to, oh, I see. Um... I'm trying to say they're phony baloney plastic banana. <laughs> so if that's slinging mud, it's not. It's they claim he he stands up there in the pulpit and says, uh, tells all these preachers it will work if you do it. How do you know? You've never done it. You've never ever done it. You married the founder's 16 year old daughter, and. Um, that is just really kind of gross in this day and age. Um, anyway, the other thing that I wrote here that was Diana's original response, I think. My daughter Diana posted this response, but this one and yours were not showing up for anyone else to see. This was Diana's first response. How about pull your wig up three inches and read the rest of the stuff? You pick the most childish stance on everything. And the wig thing hits home as well. It's because, um, I don't know why, but Verna and Tanya love to kind of uh, scoot around to the ladies. And, and the suggestion for fixing hair issues is to get a wig. And um, I spent money on a, a, a real hair wig and just looked like an idiot. <laughs> It's stupid. You'd move your head and the, and the wig stays in the same place it was. So, it, And if you don't have it put on there the right way, like uh, with some of your real hair underneath to, to mix in with it, or at least have it stationed on the head so it doesn't move around and you can't see the fake part, it really looks like it begins to look more cultish than it is because... 
you see how many ladies you're, you're all sitting up there in the choir. And honestly, Miss Cemento, when you sat up there recently in the choir and they were talking about what the classes would be for the week, I think Reverend Fausto was doing that, you were behind him making all kinds of faces and pointing and drawing attention to yourself, which it's it seems to be against... I mean, it seems to go along with that whole wanting to take so many selfies thing and uh, draw attention to yourself. And then what someone sees is wigs, wigs everywhere. So it does, it, it begins to look kind of creepy, kind of like Stepford Wives or something. And um, again, been there, done that, done the wig thing, um, you know, but if it's moving around and you're moving around and you're drawing attention to yourself, it, it's not something that's going to draw anyone into your group. It reminds me actually, I watched a documentary not long ago about the Hasidic Jews in a portion of New York, New York City, where actually they claim to be their own little city and the women all have to wear wigs. And they look like women in NTCC. And it's it's sad. It's so, so incredibly sad. So I wouldn't have probably said that, but that's how my daughter's feeling. Like, you know, she's not happy about what Keckle did here because it's disingenuous. He does not. He, he for whatever reason he mentioned Brian's name. Um it's weird. It's so weird. And I don't care that he didn't mention mine. What I'm saying is the contrast that he won't say it. He won't say who DB is. Maybe because that person is kind of vacillating. And maybe he's trying to just throw a good nod out that way. I don't know. It's so incredibly weird. Is this really what people come to church to hear? Um, now... Diana said, your generals are baby E4s who have no idea what they got themselves into. Did you even know, Davis? Baby E4s. I think she's maybe assuming you might know some military terms. If not, you can ask someone. The weirdest thing about what Keckle said about my dad was that he was the biggest hater on this church, and yet Mike uses his name as in defense of the church. He knows what he's doing, and it's appalling. And it is. And so uh, this tutorial, tutorial ended up in a, as a response, which is fine. But anyway, for everyone, please click on these things and find, if you see eight comments, look for eight comments. I don't know. I'm not seeing eight. But I'm going to, I don't know how to get around this. If you've posted something and I've not answered, because I will answer, I'm not afraid to answer. I uh, put myself out there, so that's fine and dandy. Um, just go ahead and um, mm, just go ahead and send me a message. Mm, let's hope I get it. <laughs> but if you send it through the blog, I will get it. Um, it's stay away from ntcc.blogspot.com. Go to the right hand side, the contact form. Fill it out. You can fill it out with a an email that's anonymous use an anonymous name, uh, whatever floats your boat. Thank you, everyone, um, and see you soon.